This is Handbrake for Windows, and it is used for getting files from a DVD, movies, recordings, and being able to put them onto iPods, iPhones, iPod Touches, iPhone 4s, iPads, Apple TVs, and to be able to watch on your computer as well. It doesn't have to be something that is on a DVD. It could be another file format that's actually stored on your computer as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly run through using Handbrake and how to get something that's a DVD and put it onto your computer. And I'm going to do it for an iPhone 4, but basically it works the same for other formats as well. What I do have to warn you about is that if you are going to do this, it's illegal to copy and distribute your files that you get here. That is piracy. And also in some countries, it's not actually legal to actually take something that you've already got a DVD, for example, such as a movie, and actually put it onto other devices, but a lot of that is changing. So please just check up on whatever the current laws are for doing that. Now, Handbrake is available from handbrake.fr. That's just http colon slash slash handbrake.fr. And simply download it and install it. And I do have to say, if you install it, you do so at your own risk. Now, with all that aside, the way that you do this on Windows, the Windows version of Handbrake, that is, you go over to here where it says source, click on the drop down box, and you'll see it's got a drive in here from a DVD. You could open up a video file folder or you could scan for a particular video file or folder. So I'm just going to choose this one. It's going to scan the disk so that will spin up. Now I already had the DVD in there, but if you put a DVD in, your DVD player program will probably start. Let it start and then close it. If you try and do this both at the same time, both of them are going to try and read the DVD, which will slow everything down. You'll see now it has actually detected some titles. Titles in this case are the different recordings that I've got here. And you'll see I've got them on a list. I have got five. It's number one that I want. You can see they're all 30 minutes long. It would tell you the minutes, seconds and hours over there as well. I'm actually going to take at least two of these and encode them. and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm choosing number one. I can choose what chapters I want. So you know that the DVD has chapters in it. You could also tell it what seconds you want to capture. So you could do it from 30 seconds to 60 seconds or from what frame number to what frame number you want it to end. If it's chapters, you could choose from here that you wanted to go from chapter two through to say chapter four. But in this instance, I'm actually going to do from number one through to number six. If I just wanted number one, I would choose one and then choose one from here as well. I can click on preview as well. And that takes a while to do this. But basically, depending on what you've got installed on your computer, you can see a preview of the title that you've chosen here to make sure you've got the right one. So what I'm going to do is this file needs to be stored somewhere. I'm just going to click on browse here. I'm going to put it into sample videos. I'm going to put it into my videos library. I'm using Windows 7 here, but if you're using Windows XP, you could put it into your uh, My Videos if you want to put it there or into whatever folder you want. I'm just going to call this one first video. I'm going to click on save. What I'm going to do now is on the side, I've got a whole load of presets, which means I don't have to worry too much about all the settings over here. There's Universal, which allows it to play on many different devices. For an iPod, iPhone and iPod Touch, I said I was going to do it for an iPhone 4, so I'm just going to click on that. There is iPad, Apple TV, and the Apple TV 2. I'm just choosing iPhone 4. If you want it to work on lots of different devices, you could choose the iPhone and iPod Touch option, which does work on the iPhone 4, iPad, Apple TV, and Apple TV 2. And the great thing about that is that it's just one size fits all. The only thing is you would get higher resolution with some of these other options. And you'll see that if I choose them, it does actually change the settings for you. But let's stick with the iPhone 4. It's going to create an MP4 file. We shouldn't really need to change this to MKV, which is another file format, which is maybe going to become a bit more popular. Who knows? So down here, you shouldn't really need to change anything. This is the size of the file here, 720 by 576 pixels. You could alter that. You could crop as well. It's automatically cropping just a little bit. Video filters. Well, that can actually be quite useful. One thing that I tend to do, although it can drop the resolution a bit, although it's hard to spot sometimes, 
is deinterlacing. That's when you've got a lot of action and you see it panning across and you see these jagged edges along the lines. If you do see that, then you want to switch on the deinterlace, of which you could choose to do a custom option selecting your settings. You could have fast, slow, or slower. The slower it goes, the better quality you're going to get. So I'm going to choose slower in this instance. Under all of these, you don't need to worry too much, although I do happen to know that my DVD was recorded at 25 frames per second, so I'm going to choose that, although it should make too much difference. The audio, well, that would be if you've got multiple audio tracks, you know on a DVD that maybe you've purchased, it's got different languages. You could choose from there. Subtitles, again, if you had subtitles on there, you could choose which subtitles to choose. Chapters, well, if you're putting it into something like an iPhone, iPhone 4, iPad, it does have chapters there, and you could choose different names for them by simply clicking here and typing in a new name. Advanced, I really wouldn't mess around with these, just leave them as it is. These presets are brilliant in actually getting the job done for you. Okay, so I don't need to, but I'm just going to click back here on picture. Now, I could click on start to start encoding that, which would put it into the folder that I've chosen, and it would give it this name first video. But I wanted to choose another title as well. So what I'm going to do is rather than having to do them one by one, I'm going to choose add to queue. And this box pops up showing me what's in my queue. I'm just going to click on close because I just want to close that for now. And I want to choose number two. And again, I just need to change the file name here. So I'm just going to call this one second video. Okay, I'm just going to click on iPhone 4 just to make sure that's doing the same thing. Now, if I didn't change the name here and I click on add to queue, and if they both had the same name, it would overwrite them. So it would encode the first one and then overwrite the second. Not very useful. I'm just going to check here the video filters. Yes, the deinterlace is switched on. The video is still showing 25 frames per second. I always have a quick check just to make sure that everything's okay. And once again, I just click on add to queue and that list comes up. And if I had more to add, again, I would close it, go back, choose the next title, and do the same thing that I've done for the other two. But there are my two files ready to go. If I click on encode now, which I'm going to do, it will put both of those into the folders that I've selected, or in this case, just one folder, with those file names. When it's complete, I can copy those over into iTunes or onto another device that I want to use with iTunes. I can watch it within iTunes or I can synchronize it with my iPod, iPhone, iPad, you get the idea, the things that synchronize with iTunes. You can also watch it directly on your computer as well. So that is using Handbrake for Windows to take uh, some video that is on a DVD and being able to convert them to put them onto your computer. Now this could take a while, so just wander off and do what you have to do and come back and check to see when it's complete. Down the bottom here, it does show you how long roughly it's going to take, but this can change. So that is using Handbrake for Windows.